Okay. Um, let me start working on topic four with you, biological molecule. As you know, the first slide is the objective slides. And for the introduction of this topic, um, we need to understand uh, the principal dietary sources and describe the importance of water. Um, the first question at this topic is, why do we need food? And definitely the answer uh, is food provides energy for all cell activities and food substances are needed to make new cytoplasm because as you know, without food substance, we will miss a lot of minerals, vitamins, um, all of the nutrients um, uh, needed for the growth, for repair of some tissues. Also, it's extremely important because by the end of the course, you might um, uh, forgot to study why is water important. Water important for humans and for plants. So water important because it acts as a great solvent. We talk this in chemistry and we know this from year nine. And water helps in controlling body temperature. For plants, water is needed, one of the raw material for photosynthesis, and it involved in the transport of dissolved substance. And we will take next topic, the transport uh, of uh, minerals, ions um, from the root hair cells and the absorption uh, happen through the root hair cell, then it will be transported through, xyl through xylem tissue to the rest of the plant part. So one of the main important importance is um, that water involved in the transport of dissolved substance. Don't forget in you know, water, you let come in, act as a cooling agent. So it helps for cooling the plant by transpiration process. The second biological molecule, uh, or the second part of the syllabus which talk about biological molecules is carbohydrates. In this section, we will learn about the uh, organic substance, which is the carbohydrates, um, lipids, uh, protein, uh, and the nucleic acid. We will learn about the chemical uh, elements that makes up all of the uh, biological molecules. Very important to memorize food tests for all papers, for paper two, paper four, and also paper six. As I told you several times, ما فيش exam. The paper six ما بيجيش فيه question على the food test. فلو ما حفظناش the food test, I'm sorry to say, إن إحنا we will lose from two to three marks in paper six. لازم نعرف ال five food tests اللي إحنا هنتكلم عليهم today. كمان محتاجين نعرف إنه the starch is a complicated carbohydrate. The glycogen is an animal starch considered as a complicated carbohydrate. Very complex polysaccharides, which is the cellulose. The cellulose is before the cell wall of the plant. It is a complicated carbohydrate or complex carbohydrate. So all of these molecules made up primarily from glucose. If glucose is the simple, uh, the simple unit or the simplest unit of the carbohydrates, the starch, the glycogen, and the cellulose are the complicated molecules or the complex structure. Uh, the last part of every single type of molecules, the importance of these molecules. What is the main importance of carbohydrates? And based on the type and the location of all of these molecules, you will definitely realize that um, carbohydrates are extremely important, okay? Um, carbohydrates are organic molecule. The word organic is, uh, it means molecules made up of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. I'm talking that fast because it's a kind of recap and we learn all of this in the class. We have two types, as we said, simple sugar, and it's plated into single and double sugar structure. It's made up either from one um, ring of glucose or two rings linked together. So this is called double sugar structure. And polysaccharides, this is a complex carbohydrate made up of uh, glucose, 
and it consists of starch, which is a plant uh, a complex structure, cellulose, the basic building unit of the cell wall, and the glycogen, which is the animal starch stored in the body. Whenever you need more simple sugar, there is a hormone convert glycogen to glucose. We will learn about this in topic 14. Um, the, sim the single sugar or the simple sugar Either glucose or fructose are examples of the single sugar. And we name them simple or single sugar because we cannot uh, break down those molecules or break down uh, those molecules into smaller or simpler structure. This is the simplest structure of glucose, uh, of uh, carbohydrates. They can pass through cell membrane and absorb into uh, the cell. And the uh, double uh, sugars made up of two single sugars bonded together. And this process, we will learn about it in the AS course, hopefully, if you are taking AS bio. Um, we will combine both glucose molecules to form one double structure or one um, um, disaccharide molecules. This will happen by a reaction called condensation, the action by removing water molecule. That's why in the slide in front of you guys, we released water from the chemical reaction. Um, sucrose is the table sugar, and it's made up of one glucose molecule and one fructose molecules bonded together. The first test that we need to uh, revise is the Benedict test, or the test of reducing sugars. Reducing sugar, which is uh, glucose, fructose, galactose, maltose, any kind of sugar except the polysaccharides called reducing sugars test. Because he might ask you, Omar, in the exam, what is the test for reducing sugar? Uh, not in the format of what is the test of glucose. Okay, so you have to know the word reducing sugar. And the, this test is usually out of three marks because we will write that we will use a chemical um, a solution called Benedict solution made up of some uh, chemical um, um, element, some chemical compounds. Uh, this Benedict solution reacts with reducing sugar in uh, presence of heat. So the second mark will be awarded for the temperature or heat applied for this reaction. The third mark is the result of the reaction. The Benedict test will be positive if we found co any color of the uh, colors in front of you in the presentation. Green, this means that you have traces of reducing sugar in the test. Um, yellow, orange, or brick red. Brick red this is the usually the color that we are writing on all of the papers, but if you wrote green, yellow, orange, or black red, all of them will be totally right. The complex molecule is the starch, and definitely we can test starch, and we talk this in year six, year seven, and year eight. We are testing starch by using iodine solution and color will change from reddish brown to blue black. And this test called test for non-reducing sugar. So we have reducing sugar and non-reducing sugar, test for glucose and test for starch. Uh, as we did this practically, and I, I have a lot of videos on all my platforms related, all my um, uh, 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 social media accounts, videos for every single test, and I did the test in front of you. Please check the videos if you still cannot remember the test and each result of um, each particular test. Okay, so the color now for starch or for iodine to detect starch is blue-black. This is the uh, positive result. The last slide in carbohydrates, the functions of carbohydrates. We have a lot of functions. Number one, it considered as a store of energy source. 
because if we store uh, starch, if we have large amount of carbohydrates in our body, this means that we have stock, okay, to release energy. Um, form supporting structures such as cellulose, um, uh, and this is the basic building block of the cell wall in plants. And definitely, as we talk, animals has no cell wall, so cellulose is not applicable here for the animal cell. For the synthesis of nucleic acid, because nucleotide is the building unit of DNA and it's made up of um, ribose sugar or deoxyribose sugar. We will talk about this um, after like a um, couple of slides. To make lubricants, and this is such as mucus, which covers the inner surface of the trachea uh, bronchi to trap all of the dust particles and to keep the airways clean and to make nectar in flowers. So in order to attract... Uh, For the synthesis of nucleic acids to make lubricants and to keep the airways clean and finally to make nectar in flowers because as we said the pollination process or the insect pollination process happened um, by the effect of uh, the uh, insects to transfer pollen grains to the stigma of the flowers. And uh, at the same time, insects trying to take nectar as a kind of food for the insect. Um, the third point is the fats or lipids. And we need also to know that fats are organic molecule made up of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. The basic building blocks of fats is fatty acids and glycerol, fatty acids and glycerol. So the fat molecule made up of glycerol and three molecules of fatty acid, and definitely the test for fat called emulsion test or ethanol emulsion test. Uh, how could we carry out this test? We will dissolve the sample in alcohol, then we will add um, or we will dissolve it, we will shake it well to dissolve alcohol, uh, to dissolve fats in alcohol, then we will pour all of the test tube contents in um, the um, test tube uh, containing water. All of a sudden, you will find an amazing cloudy ring in the middle of the uh, test tube. This means that your sample has fat or lipids. Uh, fat or oil, both are lipids. Uh, the function of fats and the function of fats uh, is coming uh, uh, on the majority of exams that we answered, guys. Okay, so it came before in several exams and the exams that we will answer also together, together you will find a question or two related to the structure of fats, the test, for fats and the function of fats. It goes, sorry, it considered as a second source of energy, as an insulating material to prevent excessive heat loss, and as a solvent for some fat soluble molecules and for some hormones. Some molecules doesn't dissolve easily in water, so we need some uh, fats or some lipids to dissolve molecules such as some hormones involved in this process. It considered as an essential structure in the cell membrane. The cell membrane of any uh, living cell, such as a plant cell and animal cell, made up of two bilayer structure. So uh, it is a part of the cell membrane. So, sir, can we write this as one of the functions? Yes, definitely. Because without cell membrane, we cannot transport any material in or out of the cell easily. And it reduces water loss from the skin surface. So the oily layer on the skin reduces some um, water loss from the skin and it is uh, beneficial in some cases and it will prevent the dehydration process. For protein, 
protein responsible for growth and repair. Honestly, I can tell you that we can live without carbohydrates for a while, but we cannot live without proteins. Okay, proteins are organic molecules made up of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, in addition to nitrogen. And it came before in a lot of multiple choice papers, past papers. Nitrogen is one of the unique elements that we can found in uh, we can find in uh, protein and protein only. Okay, um, sulfur. In bonding between amino acids uh, to adjust the 3D structure of protein. But in the exam, I want you to write sulfur, uh, to write protein um, more than sulfur. So um, nitrogen, nitrogen is the most important part in protein structure more than the surface, uh, more than the sulfur. Proteins are present in uh, all cells and protein molecules is built up from amino acids and the amino acids uh, are the building units of all of the protein chains. Um, protein found everywhere in the body. Enzymes, antibodies are made of proteins. And as you know well, the structure of enzymes and the active site, how it bond to the substrate or bind to the, to the substrate to form enzyme substrate complex. And this process is responsible for breaking down large molecules in the body and converting it into small molecules. Um, how can we test for protein? We can use bio reagent, and this reagent converts into uh, from blue into purple or lilac uh, color. So whenever you find purple color, this means that your sample has a protein structure. The function of protein is... Actually, we have a lot of functions for protein in the body, to, for growth, for repair, to make enzymes and some hormones, for the formation of antibodies to, um, uh, uh, to defense against or to make a defense action against some diseases and to make chromatin network in chromosomes or the network of genetic material in chromosomes. So we have a lot of functions for a protein and all of the functions related to growth if you observe, related to growth and related to defense and breaking down large molecules. Um, there is a practice slide and we, we just need to check the questions in front of us. List of the chemical elements that make up proteins. Um, we said carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and nitrogen. If you want to write sulfur, it's okay. But if you wrote carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and nitrogen, it will be perfectly fine. How can you identify proteins by using binary test and the color will be purple, okay, or change from blue to purple? Question three is frequently repeated in the exams. If we have food test, um, and this food tests were carried out on uh, three different types of food. A, B, and C. The results of the tests are given in the table. Using the results from the table state, the substance are present in each food. When we add iodine solution, uh, for C, we have starch because color change to blue-black. When we heat with Benedict solution, the brick red precipitate was formed in A and B. So we have reducing sugar in A and B. For biret reagent, violet or uh, violet or purple is the same yellow. So violet color was observed. So for B and C, we have protein in those samples. Okay. Describe how you would test a piece of skin from an orange fruit for the presence of fats. We will use emulsion 
test or ethanol emulsion test, and you will write the idea of shaking with alcohol, and then we will pour all of the amount in the test tube in a test tube with water. And please don't forget to write the results, so the results will be cloudy ring. Outline the role of protein, and that's what we covered in the previous slide. This part is an extended part, so this means that it is our part of the DNA structure, and we need to describe the structure of DNA to explain how could we use the sequence of bases on DNA in classification. So based on similarities and differences, we can realize if we have some animals or some plants or generally or some species originated from the common or shared common ancestors. Explain the group of organisms share a more recent ancestor and uh, are more closely related if they have same sequence of DNA. When we have same sequence of DNA, this means that more amino acids or same sequence of protein will be produced. And this is another evidence and will give you extra mark. Let's check these slides. DNA is the genetic material, double helix structure made up of nucleotides. So nucleotide is the building unit of DNA structure. And nucleotides has four types of bases could be attached to. Adenine, cytosine, guanine, and thymine. A, C, G, and T. A always is binding, binding to T, and C is always binding to G. So C and G considered as um, partner, and A with T to form the double helix structure. Each species of organism has a unique sequence of DNA bases, and we can determine how closely related two species by comparing the DNA structure. Look, in front of us, we have three sequences of DNA from different organisms, A, B, and C. When we mix them and heat, what will happen is that eight base pairs formed in, um, in between A and B, and only four base pairs formed in between B and C. So definitely you will predict that A and B sharing common ancestors because they are closely related to each other. They have a lot of similarities between each other. And this is the, the way that we will use to understand uh, or to answer any question related to the sequence of DNA. Last point I want to mention here, or actually last two points, the test for vitamin C, and uh, it's not in the presentation, but it's included in our course. I will add this to the presentation. Uh, we will use a substance called DCPIP. DCPIP is the solution by which we can check if we have vitamin C in our sample or not. If the color discharge or became colorless, this means that we have vitamin C in the solution. So color change from deep blue or blue-black to colorless or the discharge of color in the solution. This is number one. For the last part, a couple of slides for DNA and the similarities between DNA, we can also add the similarities between um, uh, the sequence of amino acids and the amount of protein or the type of protein formed. And this will give you another point. So you can compare based on the similarities of DNA and the amino acids formed from this DNA structure. Now we have covered the majority of topics or the majority of the most important parts in biological molecule topic. And we will start revising in the next part, the enzyme and enzyme activity.